I'm in little cupcakes. I have a great story. The name of this book is Flora Bell. Here we go on our adventure. I hope you like it. That morning, Flora Bell was too busy twirling and swirling to join her family for breakfast. I bet cereal tastes better when you're a ballerina. So look at Flora Bell twirling and swirling, dancing, avoiding breakfast. But getting thrust, her sister warned, you'll be late again. But Flora Bell didn't hear a word. I bet school's more fun when you're a fairy princess. So Flora Bell was pretending to be a princess when it was time to get ready for school. At the bus stop, the driver honked, beep, 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 beep. But her highness, Flora Bell, didn't move a royal inch. I bet no one minds waiting for you when you're a queen. Oh my goodness, her imagination is so big. So the bus driver was honking for her and she was still looking in the mirror, pretending to be a queen. Flora Bell's family was losing patience. Come back down to earth, they begged. Sometimes they were very, very serious. Too serious for Flora Bell, anyway. So Flora Bell was always in the clouds with her imagination and her parents were saying, come back, come back down to earth. At dinner, Flora Bell Jean, rodeo queen, rode through the kitchen. That's it, Flora Bell, you're in a timeout, said her father, and we're not going to the beach tomorrow if you don't start listening, her mother added. So Flora Bell had a little toy horse and rode through the kitchen and her parents said, that's it, you're in a timeout. Flora Bell had always dreamed of going to the beach. She couldn't take any chances. Tomorrow she'd be serious, very, very serious, just like her family. So she went to her room and said, I've got to get it together. I want to go to the beach. The next morning, Flora Bell was focused. Her teeth were sparkling, her dog was fed, and her bed was, had perfectly tech corners. She was even the first one in the car. Everyone was happy. Buckle up, her father said. So Flora Bell had everything done. Her bit room was made. She was the first one in the car, ready to go. Teeth were brushed. She was excited. But when they got to the beach, Flora Bell, Bell was met with an unhappy surprise. The sea was nothing like she'd imagined. It looked very deep and very dark and very, very undreamy. So when she got to the ocean, she'd never been there. Suddenly she wasn't, she was scared. It didn't look welcoming as she thought it would be. Join us, Flora Bell, the water's warm. One, two, three, jump. No way, not me, Flora Bell replied. I'm staying put. So her family called her in, but she imagined octopuses and dragons and everything else kept her from getting in. She was afraid. See her right there? She said, no, not me, I'm staying put. I'm not getting in. Flora Bell refused to watch as her family dipped in dough and Marigold happily dog battled beside them. Instead, back on land, Flora Bell dug herself in deeper and doodled in the sand. Who wants to swim in a big, scary ocean anyway? She was scared. She dug herself in, in the sand. She wasn't looking at the fun her family was having. Suddenly, Flora Bell had an idea, a great big rosy red dreamy idea. She wiggled her toes, out popped two bright petunia pink fins. I bet the ocean isn't so scary when you're a mermaid. She ran to the water's edge, and sure enough, it was just as she'd imagined. So she ran to the ocean and saw herself as a mermaid, and then she wasn't afraid. She got her courage. Flora Bell Jean, you're swimming. We're proud of you. Let's play, Flora Bell giggled. The water feels great. So imagining that she was a mermaid gave her courage. And she was able to hop in and enjoy it. He said, you're swimming, Flora Bell. Good. Look at Flora Bell imagining that she's a mermaid. She looks happy there, doesn't she? At home, Flora Bell brushed her teeth, combed Marigold the dog, and climbed into her perfectly made bed. No one even had to remind her. Sweet dreams, she called from her pillow. I love you. 
So she was doing everything she was supposed to, brushed her teeth, combed her dog, and got into bed. No one had to make her. And as Florbel dove into a sea of rosy red dreams, her mother picked a strand of sea jewels from her hair. We couldn't dream of loving you more. This time, Florbel Jean heard every word. So her mama came to tuck her in and said, we can't imagine loving you more, sweetheart. The end. I hope you liked it.